Good evening now. We're beginning tonight with education news as Richland District 1 continues to seek solutions amid an ongoing investigation for their soon to be built early learning center. That investigation coming following questions about building permits and financing for that new facility. As a result, construction is now on hold. News 19's Nate Stanley has the latest. Well, we're continuing to work through uh, that process. It is halted at this time, of course, but we look forward to bringing a resolution uh, real quickly, uh, as quickly as possible. That's the message coming from Richland One Superintendent, Dr. Craig Witherspoon. You may remember State Education Superintendent Ellen Weaver called for an investigation after being told about permitting issues for the construction of the Vince Ford Learning Center. In that letter calling for the Inspector General to get involved, Weaver mentioned that the construction on the center began without a school building permit and continued even after the Education Department said that they could not issue a permit. District 1 finally halted construction on January 19th. On Thursday, board members spent close to an hour and a half in executive session discussing the issue. Outside of executive session, two items were granted approval with no public discussion from the board, citing vague outlines. The administration requests approval of the recommendation as outlined in executive session. Administration requests approval um, as presented in executive session of regarding engaging the White law firm to represent the district in connection with the Inspector General's investigation. The specifics of those recommendations were not highlighted during the meeting. We spoke with both Dr. Aaron Bishop and Witherspoon about the votes, asking for more clarification and the plan for the district moving forward. Well, it was dealing with making sure that we take the necessary steps to bring resolution with the necessary agencies that we got to speak to. Well, we can't divulge what was talked about in executive session. Well, the recommendation, again, is to continue to move forward and, and what we're doing uh, to, to bring resolution and make sure that the project moves forward. The district did not give a timeline for when they expect a solution to be made or when the construction might resume. In Columbia, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX. Well, we did reach out to the State Education Department who told us they did not have a comment on the ongoing investigation at this time. 